welcome to the day where you get the inside scoop on all of the drama. We got a good day. You know if I'ma see you again. Hi everybody, my name is Amber and I am the Black Directioner. And it's another Wall Wednesday where we talk about the things that are blowing up in our fandom. As always, we're gonna start with the least problematic, which this week was Harry. Literally, I don't know if anybody else has seen Harry, but he hit a Nile and you know, he's just not here. He just left the face of the earth. So I don't know where Harry is. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's up to. The only thing I know is that he's nowhere to be found. The Styles family got hacked. Which I guess is why he's probably not here. I don't know. He, he just ain't been here. Um, but his mama is back on Instagram. But she's on private now. But, you know, other than that, ain't nothing really going on with Harry. So we're going to move to the next person, which is Niall. Okay, best thing to ever happen. Niall got a Snapchat. Now, I'm not sure if he's been, like, having a Snapchat. And he just now made it, like, uh, public for everybody to go and look at. But as far as I'm concerned, he just got a Snapchat. It's free and open to the public. It's right there. Um, if you want to go and follow it, <laughs> my Snapchat's right there too. If you want to go and follow it, ah, uh-huh, self promotion. And he's so hilarious, and I love seeing his face, and I look forward to him posting. And it just, it just made things better for us. But maybe it made things worse for him because he got caught in a white lie. tweeted Niall he had tweeted and he had said one of them Saturdays where I don't want to leave the house and then he takes a picture of him in a train and then he goes out that night you know like he he was like legitly partying with folks and everything and we was just like why you lie to her like that you know you ain't had to lie to her like that so he had took another picture on snapchat and there's a phone on the table like a full-blown new ass iPhone on the table while he's using his iPhone to take the picture. So, you know, everybody's investigating. Everybody's all like, why Why you got two phones? So, Niall has two phones. Therefore, Niall is cheating. He better be cheating on me, though. I don't know who else he's cheating on, but it ain't me. That's, that's phase two that has gotten Niall in trouble for using Snapchat. So, will he continuously keep it? Who knows? Stay tuned to find out. And then the only thing that's up next that's been going on with Niall is that he was seen buying some baby clothes. And you know, people were like, oh, well, maybe he's buying it for Freddie. And I was just like, no, Freddie has a dad. Fre- Freddie's dad can do that, right? Why does he need Niall to do that for him? He's out everywhere else, so why can't he be out buying some baby clothes? Mm. And then, you know, people were referring back to a couple weeks ago whenever people were claiming that Niall is going to be a dad. And people were like, maybe he is. Maybe he's prepping up to buy some new baby clothes or whatever. And I'm just like, nah, y'all, I told y'all I'm not pregnant. So he's not he's not shopping for uh, his baby, okay? He doesn't have a baby yet, all right? Turns out he was shopping for some uh, Rochelle Hums and um, was for her kid. I guess it's her kid. Other than that, there's the only thing that's going on with Niall. So now we're going to move into Liam. So technically, Liam would not have been in here at all either because he vanished off the face of the earth as well, like out of nowhere. And then we randomly found out that he was in Malibu because some fans had caught him in Malibu. And there's that. And then there's these new things that's been surfacing today. With him and Cheryl, oh my gosh. Okay, so this article says Cheryl has told Liam not to party with Louis Tomlinson. OMG, Liam Payne and Cheryl Cole are making music together. This is not a sex joke. What is going on? Here's what's going on. Cheryl is a controlling girlfriend and is apparently telling Liam um, not to go out and party and she wants him to be there with her and saying that he can't go out with his lads because she wants him to herself type clingy ass bullshit. This is what another one says. It says, Liam was invited out to 10K nightclub last week for a producer mate's birthday, but he skipped the party to go to the studio with Cheryl. He's really serious about her and doesn't want to do anything that could jeopardize their relationship. Something about that just is fishy and unhealthy you know like of course i think that their relationship is fishy anyway i don't i don't really trust it but the fact that he said he doesn't want to do anything to jeopardize their relationship makes me feel like something's going on you know like something something's not right in the water you know like how is going out to one of your friends birthday party going to jeopardize your relationship with your girlfriend like those be the girlfriends that people don't want you know like you're doing the most you're holding him down too much and you need to let him go. 
And the thing that I don't like about it is the fact that, you know, Liam is a grown-ass man. You know, it's, first of all, they're not married. Second of all, he could have asked if he could bring her or something. You know, you don't just miss a friend's birthday party because your girlfriend don't want you to go. Like, really? Like, come on now. Like, and it doesn't add up at all. And I don't appreciate it. And the fact that they were in a studio refers to the last article claiming that they were making music together. Solo Liam Rise and whatever. But not with shit. Uh, no, mm -mm. case closed, ended. Okay, so next person we're gonna go into is Zayn. Now, Zayn has been blowing the fuck up, bitch, let me tell you. So, Zayn was on Jimmy Fallon last week, and I watched him live, and he performed, um, like I would. Oh, he did such a good job. And during his performance, you know how everybody's at different time zones or whatever? Other people of the world already saw it and everything like that. I'm still sitting there. I'm still waiting for him to come up. Next thing I know, he drops his music video to B4. Um, excuse me. You see me sitting here waiting for your ass to come on the TV and you just gonna drop your goddamn music video? You can't do that shit. What the fuck? Bro, you can't do this. You can't be doing shit like that. Like, that's, that's not okay. And then, right after he dropped that, his album was available to download. I was like, you know what, Zayn? I don't have time for you and your nonsense. Get the fuck. So Zayn dropped his album on Friday, March 25th, as we all know. His album is fire. Like, it's lit as fuck. I love it. He's doing a bang-ass job. Zayn currently has 11 songs in the iTunes US Top 150, more than any other artist. Zayn is currently the most successful artist on iTunes worldwide. And it had reached number one on iTunes in more than 70 countries. Zayn Malik has now replaced Justin Bieber as the number one artist on Spotify worldwide. That's amazing. Like, I'm so proud of Zayn. Like, he, he's killing it. On Zayn's album, he only has one person that features with him, and that is Kalani. And she's on the song Wrong. So, um, the day after I had listened to the album, which was Monday, Tuesday, Monday night-ish or something like that, um, Kelani was, uh, trending worldwide. And, you know, the only reason why I know about her is because she was in Zayn's song. I'm like, okay, what's going on? Because it said, like, stay strong, I think. Stay strong, Kalani. So I looked at it, and apparently she, uh, tried to commit suicide, and she had posted this picture on Instagram. Um, I'm not gonna read it, but you know, if you want to read it, pause it, feel free to look at it. It's no longer on Instagram. And you know, like, it, it hit my heart, because I was like, yo, because like, she, she's, she's good at what she does, you know? And I was like, man, what happened, you know? And I was sitting there, and I'm just like, man, I hope Zane, you know, talked to her, or like, you know, called her, texted her, something, you know? and everything so i just wanted to put that out there and i just wanted to say that i you know i'm happy that she didn't commit i'm happy that she is still alive <sighs> okay so aside from all the emotional stuff we're gonna go ahead on and move into the next person which is louie which means he is the most problematic this week duh so on thursday <laughs> louie was out with freddie and ollie they were out taking a fucking stroll like they together <laughs> and it's, it's so funny half of uh, the people who don't believe Freddie believe that he is a doll, that he is a toy and everything. I think it's a real baby. I just don't know whose baby it is. I don't even think it's Brianna's baby. Like, it's just, it's just a random ass baby. But, um, I do believe that it is a real baby. I don't think it's a doll in certain cases. Um, <laughs> so, you know, we had that huge controversy on that. And then, like, a couple days later, we had pictures with... Freddie, Louie, and Danielle that surfaced everywhere. Uh, there was a lot of controversy on those pictures because people were like, hey, hey, Louie, really? Didn't Brianna say you can see your baby but don't bring your girlfriend around her, around him and everything? Which, again, makes sense because if the baby start calling her mama, then there's going to be some issues. You know, like she's asking for one thing and that's to keep the baby away from your new girlfriend and you still continuously bring the baby around your new girlfriend. Like, get your shady ass on somewhere. I'm just saying, if, if out of anything, he should respect her for that. But, again, since he's not, would probably tie into the part why people think that it's a PR stunt. In other news, Brianna has finally opened her Instagram to the rest of the world. She posted this picture, and there's a lot of controversy on this damn picture, too, because people are like, oh my gosh, her stomach is, like, flat as a pancake. Like, what's going on? And, you know, that's, that's a big tie-in because, you know, Sometimes people can just slim down quicker after pregnancies. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not sitting here saying that the pregnancy was real because I still don't believe it. But it is possible to get that slim that fast. You just got to know what to do. And then these are pictures that Brianna had posted on her Snapchat, apparently. And it says that she hasn't been on her Snapchat since August. 
August was pretty much when her baby gay had started. What people's theory is, is that since she's being open and since, you know, her she's back on her Snapchat and whatnot, people feel like her job in this whole fiasco is starting to end. So pretty much people are claiming that Baby Gay is supposed to be ending soon. You know, we've been claiming this for months. Who knows when that's really gonna happen? Who knows what the fuck is going on? But it kind of does make sense. Um, Louis was supposed to be filling in for, I think it was Nick Grimshaw. It was supposed to be filling in for Nick Grimshaw's uh, place for, for being an X Factor judge. But he decided to cancel that and he no longer wants to be a judge and people feel like it's because Simon is also a judge which you know him and Simon got a little got a little uh meat between them so he he claims that he wants to focus on his own record label and can't commit to a tv show this year TMZ bitch ass is trying to convince everybody that they are gonna end baby gate and that they know news that we don't and yada 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 and Again, just don't trust TMZ. I don't trust TMZ. The only truth that they ever tell is whenever the truth actually comes out. So it's like, don't don't listen to them because they're complete shit. They, they getting folks' hopes up and they making people genuinely think that they know what's going on. They don't know nothing about what's going on, you know? And there's one last thing that we're going to jump into and that is all One Direction news put together. So if anything, this is a picture that is literally flying around the fandom so fast this is a man it but it's something that you know everybody wants to really happen yo if something like this really happens yo i'ma pass out and last but not least we have more breakup rumors they're claiming that simon cowell isn't sure if it's a hiatus or a breakup so there's been a lot of things going around talking about that it's claiming that uh one direction are permanently on this hiatus and that is just a full-blown breakup or that they've been thinking about just breaking up so again it's all based on your thoughts um it's all based on their thoughts and we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens thank y'all so much for watching that was the end of well wednesday hopefully i caught some people up there's always drama happening in this fandom and y'all always gotta know what's going on so that you can keep up with what's going on i hope y'all have an awesome wednesday if there's ever anything that y'all happen to see that y'all think is important that the fandom really does blow up in feel free to always dm me on instagram any type of drama that you see and i will surely see you guys next time remember to keep your head up and smile and always know somebody has your back bye